I recognize that we're on unsuited or still territory as well. Well, aren't we talking about water? So what are we kicking about when it rains a little bit, eh? Yeah. Okay. going to be a challenge. We're going to share this. Sawbuck Bonnie. All right. What's that? I go to water. Water treaty. The water treaty. The citizens of the Wollaston Grand Council recognize the nation-to-nation -nation peace and friendship treaties as the basis of our common ground, defining our responsibilities to our water down through the generations. We affirm that water is the dynamic and creative element that sustains all life. Water moves and flows through deep aquifers, springs, bogs, brooks, marshes, rivers, lakes, and into the ocean tides throughout Rostokuk, the Mousy homeland, to be drawn up into the clouds and fall as rain, <laughs> returning again to the land. In this constant ebb and flow, water nourishes and cleanses the entire world. It makes up who we are, as well as the other living things. We live, grow, play, work, wash, cook, drink, rest, pray, and celebrate with the waters. What we do to the water, we do to ourselves. Water is limited, and it is vulnerable. It needs to be protected and shed freely and fairly. Water is not a commodity or merely a resource. It is a unique condition, a life giver, a right. And water is a dynamic being with a creative power of its own, unlike any other in the natural world, even the human family. Water is basic to the environment. We see the destruction of the environment as the destruction of ourselves. We see that any assault... Hold there. ...on the good and well-being of our relations in the natural world, upon our land and upon our waters, as an act of aggression against us. Today, we recognize and resist the extensive abuses to water that resource industries and governments are unleashing, directly assaulting water. These threats include fracking, tar sands pipelines, mining, industrial wastewater dumping, privatizing water services, clear cut and spraying in the forest, industrial farming, rivers, river dams, coastal inundation, and flash flood flooding from severe storms and climate change, nuclear power generation, and salmon farm manage mismanagement, government inaction on protecting our water. These abuses render water toxic, diverted, substandard, unreliable, and unavailable. All of these assaults on water are abusive to the web of life, which our societies are embedded in and depend upon to survive and thrive for the next seven generations. Our children and grandchildren deserve better, and we need to be protected from harm. The worst of Grand Council opposes these abuses. We are committed to restoring the respect to our relationship with our water, thereby renewing our treaty responsibilities to each other as a distinct, as distinct nations. When we care for the water and the land, we care for each other. We will care for the water by building a sustainable economy that rapidly transitions away from fossil fuels or re renewables to re renewables. 
restore our forests, reduces the carbon footprint, decentralizes energy supply, and builds food security through a regional biodiverse farming sector. <laughs> we call on Canadian, federal, provincial, territorial, and municipal governments to change their laws and regulations to accommodate the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. These laws and regulations must take into account sovereign Indigenous title, absolute title, of the Rostokuk, involving our inherent and inalienable rights, including, among others, our right to exercise free, prior, and informed consent, and our right to participate in economic development that affects the water. These laws and regulations must also take into consideration the balance of interests involving the farming sector, the forestry sector, renewable energy sectors, manufacturing sectors, as well as health services and tourism industries, among others. We, Lust of Grand Council, invite you to join in our movement, our shared consciousness to reconnect in a sacred manner to the natural world. We will stand shoulder to shoulder to protect the water to secure a future for our children and our grandchildren that is healthy. In peace and friendship, this is sent to you by the Worcester Grand Chief, Ron Trombley. I would also announce, you probably heard it on Terry Sege, that we have requested that the original name to our beautiful river was to be restored. Today, it, for, for the first reason, is that that is our our um, our identity is is tied up with the original name of the river. We are the river. The river is us. Ustagawi means the people of the beautiful river. And so that's number one. And um, number two is that scientists have proven today what we, what our people have always known, and that is that water has memory. It's a hard concept to wrap your mind around, I know, but it's true. Water has memory, and she will remember her original name because We've been here not for 150 years. We've been here 14,000 plus. And so that's what we celebrate. And so we have told the government that this is an opportunity to open the door a crack and show goodwill to begin discussions around the implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the rights of indigenous people. And we all must be involved in that process, all of us. We know and understand that there has to be a great educational process taking place uh, among your people and mine, because what we know has not been taught in schools. And we have been invited to many communities to offer the blanket exercise, which talks about our side of the story and what actually happened here. And it is very eye-opening. And every community we have gone to, they said, you have to take this into the schools. And so that's our next step. We're, we're um, gonna be meeting with the education departments and to see how that can possibly be done. They want their children to, to know what they were not told. So that's the beginning of a, a, a long process, but what the end result will be, I believe, is a healthier world and a better, and some kind of a hope 
for a future for your children and mine. Could you believe one? Thank you very much.